template buttons in Notion just got a whole lot better. Now, in addition to adding any content blocks you'd like with a click, you can create new pages, update database items, and even create content with AI. I'm Tom from X-Ray Tech, the workflow company. In this video, I'm gonna show you the latest automation features in Notion's new and improved buttons. If you'd like to see more workflow automation, AI, and productivity tips every single week, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Now let's take a look at the new Notion button. To access buttons, you can just pull up the content block menu from any page type forward slash button and click or press enter to add a button to your page. This will immediately open a module where you can create and configure your button. Clicking on add a step will let you add an automatic action that will occur whenever you click on your finished button. Currently, Notion gives you five different options for steps. Insert blocks, add page to, edit pages in, show confirmation, and open page. Let's go through each of these options one at a time. Insert blocks will be very familiar if you were using Notion template buttons before the recent update. It will allow you to define a set of blocks to use as a template. Then, whenever you click on the finished button, Notion will add the blocks from your template to the page. For instance, we'll quickly put together a meeting notes template with a few headers to serve as section titles and a couple of bulleted lists for notes. We'll name our button New Meeting Notes and click Done to save it. Now, when we click on New Meeting Notes, the template is instantly duplicated onto the page. Again, this is nothing new if you've been using template buttons for a while. What is new is the suite of AI features that Notion has added, which will work very well with the Insert Blocks function in Buttons. Notion has added some fantastic new AI features to their app, which we covered in a recent video. But now, they've created some convenient AI blocks that you can add to your buttons, so you can run an entire AI prompt with a single click. Let's edit our Meeting Notes button to see how they work. In the same Insert block step, we'll type slash AI to bring up a few AI blocks. These first two options, Summary and Action Items, are pre-configured buttons themselves. Clicking on them will prompt Notion's AI to summarize the contents of the page or generate a list of action items from the page's contents. I know talking about buttons nested within buttons can be a little confusing, so I'll show you how it works. I'll add a Generate Action Items button to our new Meeting Notes button template. I'll click on Done to save my changes. Now, I'll click on the New Meeting Notes button and it generates the same template blocks as before, but now it includes an AI prompt at the bottom here. I'll fill in the meeting notes with some actual content. Then I'll click on Generate to create a list of action items from the page's contents. And in a few seconds, Notion generates a pretty good list of tasks. The summary button works in exactly the same way, so we don't need to go through that step by step. With custom AI block, we can create a block with a pre-filled prompt of our own. For instance, let's add a key questions section to the meeting notes template. Then we'll add a custom AI block with the following prompt. Create a two column pros and cons list, assessing each question listed under key questions. We'll click on done to save the button. Then, click on the Meeting Notes button to generate the template blocks. I'll just copy and paste some content to each section, including key questions. Now, I'll click on the AI prompt. And there it goes. We have a nice two-column layout with some pros and cons for each question. Combining AI prompts with buttons can help you complete repetitive work or get insights from AI in much less time. Now let's take a look at the other new features in Notion Buttons. Let's create a new button. Add Page 2 will let you add a page to a database of your choice whenever you click on the Finished button. Just choose the database you want to add a page to. Then configure how the page will be set up. You can add content to any field that's already in the database or just leave it blank. In this Meeting Notes table, We'll fill in the title and the meeting notes date, but we'll leave the attendees blank intentionally. 
Now, when we click on the add meeting notes to DB button, a new page is instantly created in our database. In this pop-up at the bottom of the screen, there's a handy link that will take us directly to the newly created page. Edit Pages In will let you automatically update pages in a database based on your own custom filters and configuration. You can use this function to instantly update dozens or hundreds of records at once instead of making the same changes over and over again manually. First, add an Edit Pages In step to your button. Then, pick a database to edit pages in. You can edit all pages in the database or add a filter to identify the specific pages that you want to edit. Choose the properties you want to edit and what you want to set them to. For example, you may want to move the due date for every task that's currently due on a company holiday. Or you might want to remove every task that's assigned to your recently promoted project manager and reassign them to your new hire. The Edit Pages In even works with relation fields. For instance, we can choose to update all of the HR tasks in our Tasks database with a relation to our latest employee handbook. We'll choose the Tasks database, then set up a filter to only edit the tasks which have their department set to HR. Then we'll choose the Related Documents field and replace with Employee Handbook 2023. When you click your finished button, all of your updates will happen automatically. And once it starts, you can't stop it. The pop-up at the bottom of the screen tells you how many pages were updated and gives you a link. If only one item was edited, then the pop-up will link directly to that one page. But if the button updated several items, then the message will link to the edited database instead. The last two steps we'll cover today are focused on improving the user experience of your buttons. With these features, you can add a confirmation dialog to your buttons and automatically open a specific page. Let's start with confirmation. It can be pretty risky to let users make extensive changes to your databases with a single click. After all, anyone might click it by accident and run hundreds of changes that just shouldn't have happened. With a confirmation step, you can easily add a simple safeguard that will prompt the user to confirm their action a second time before running the automations in your button. We'll open our previous Edit Pages In button and add a new step. We'll choose Confirmation. You can customize all of the text in the confirmation dialog, including the labels for both buttons, but we'll leave them to their defaults for now. Now, we'll move up the confirmation step so it's at the top of the list, so it's the first action that the button performs. Always make sure to place the confirmation step before the action that you want to include the confirmation for. We'll click Done to save our changes. Now, when we click on the button, this modal pops up, asking us to confirm or cancel. We'll click on Cancel to prevent the automation from running. Finally, let's take a look at Open Page. With Open Page, your button will automatically open up whichever page you choose. This can be a useful function to add to any button that adds new pages or edits existing ones. Sure, the built-in pop-up dialog at the bottom will include links to whatever was edited or created, but that's pretty easy to miss. And opening the page automatically will save you a click. We'll add this New Meeting Notes button and add an Open Page step. We'll set it to open up the Meeting Notes database. We can choose to have it open up in a side peak, center peak, or full screen. We'll choose center peak and click Done. Now, when we click the button, the new page is created and the database is opened automatically. Notion's new button features preserve everything great about template buttons and add new automated actions to let you be more productive. With the ability to create new pages, update database items, and even use AI to create content, these buttons have become surprisingly powerful little tools for workflow automation. Try them out today and start saving time on your tedious tasks in Notion. If you've enjoyed this video, prove you're not a robot and like and subscribe for more automation tips every single week.
If you'd like to learn more about no code and low code automation, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can check all those links in the resource board down below. And as always, don't forget, keep the flow.